the first one is this Inmarsat C pot antenna. Uh, it comes with a end connector on the bottom and is usually uh, mounted on the top of, of a mast on a ship. Uh, this uh, green compartment here contains all the electronics uh, that's the reception preamplifier and the uplink power amplifier and some deplexers and filters. And under this ray dome there is uh, um, a bifilar helix antenna. You can actually watch one of my other videos where I dismantled the antenna. You can see what's inside and how the antenna element looks like. This is an omnidirectional antenna, so this can see all the satellites which are in the line of sight. It does not need to be pointed to the satellite. This telephone is an STN Atlas SP2000. The same telephone was manufactured um, under many different brand names. It's originally a Trane and Trane telephone. Uh, the only difference is that it's branded um, on, on different company names, but the original equipment manufacturer is Trane and Trane in Denmark. Uh, you will see typically a different brand name on it and usually the accumulator pack uh, plastic cap here has different color. I think the original one has a blue color and um, I have seen also some black colored ones on, uh, on the internet. But uh, this is uh, basically a small mini M terminal. Uh, it has a panel antenna uh, which uh, folds out and it's adjusted in the direction of the satellite and then you can pick up the phone and uh, place a phone call. What's special about this phone is that you can remove the antenna and uh, detach it. Um, you can basically remove it, take the telephone to its side and you can just use the antenna with an adjustable angle and adjust it to the right satellite elevation angle and then turn it around towards the satellite and uh, you can use for example the telephone indoors and the antenna outdoors with a line of sight to the satellite. This antenna has a collapsible parabolic dish which you can unfold. It's a 1.2 meter dish use the straps here, you put it up, you fix the screw here, This is the collapsible dish with a feet assembly and the actual control panel and the telephone. So what to do with all these antennas? Well the most obvious thing is to point them to the satellite, connect an SDR receiver and see what we can receive. So all we need is our antenna. Let's start with the Inmarsat C omnidirectional antenna first. Some cable with an N connector to connect to the antenna base. A bias T to supply the antenna with a voltage, regulate, uh, a regulated power supply, and a DVB-T stick, also known as RTL-SDR which we are going to use as a software defined radio receiver. Now let's put the antenna on top of this plastic tube. Now these stripes that we see here on this are uh, Inmarsat Aero signals. Not too strong but uh, sufficiently strong to be decoded. Here we have some Inmarsat C signals.
Now let's try the Mini M antenna. For that purpose we will need an adapter like this one, little pigtail with a BNC or N or whatever you are casually using to TNC since you most probably are not using TNC in uh, your setup. We are connecting it to the antenna and off we go. Now let's power the antenna up. We already are receiving something. We are already receiving the same signal as before, but a bit stronger. And uh, we can now move the antenna a bit around to find a, a better position. Okay, that seems to be a good position. And uh, we are receiving quite a nice signal. Now let's start with the big one. The problem is the preamp is inside this box and the filters. So I can either access them, but to make my life easier today, I'm just I've just unplugged the SMA connector here from a lead through underneath uh, this uh, bottom plate and I'm going to connect an external preamp here which will basically give the same performance as the internal preamp. For today we are going to use this 2 LNA for all which uh, will result in a good two-stage preamplifier to give us sufficient gain to overcome cable losses and the noise figure of the RTL SDR. Using only one should be fine as well but could be a little bit uh, on the edge since the noise figure of the RTL SDRs is usually in the range slightly above 10 decibel plus cable attenuation so it's good to have a two-stage amplifier rather than just one. Now we have powered it up Here we have uh, Inmarsat IRO channels, which are used for communicating with airplanes. Also on the other frequencies you can pick up various wideband data signals. Now we are in the shack with the big antenna connected. And here we receive the Inmarsat B network control channel. This is a 6000 baud BPSK signal see some other signal coming up here some narrow band signal and a second one here look at this this is uh, in Marsat C network control channel this is the in Marsat IRO channels this is a uh, 1200 baud IRO BPSK signal. There are also the narrower stripes here, which are 600 baud signals. And these are the high speed uh, IRO H channels, the GES channels with a nice signal on the large antenna, some wide band signal. And some packet bursts from probably in Marsat's mini M system. Now we are on GNU radio, and I'm going to show you uh, how to receive the signal. Uh, let's tune into the signal. Uh, here we are. Now we have tuned in the signal, more or less, yep, okay. So what we have now is uh, roughly a 6 kilohertz wide filter into which we centered the BPSK signal from Inmarsat C. So we have a little flow graph here which does BPSK demodulation and uh, reception. So let's start it. Uh, first of all 
you can see already on the constellation graph here it's very clean uh, it takes a while uh, until it's cleaned up by the face lock loop uh, I think the loop bandwidth is a bit too wide I'm going to put it a bit more narrow and then it should look better now we have very clean constellation of the BPSK signal and what we do here is a board rate estimation and we see here the first peak is at 1.2k which corresponds to the data speed of 1200 boards. Uh, basically if you get this clean constellation you can just drop it into a file sync or stream it out of a network as a raw bit stream and you can do um, all sorts of stuff with this demodulated bitstream. This is basically how it goes. Thanks for watching.